Hello and welcome to stream time. Today, more Metroid Prime 3. And that means I'm going to be using the motion controls, which apparently people hate automatically. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, yeah, how about we go on ahead and just uh, get things started. I just want to make sure everything is ready on my end before I actually get into the nitty gritty. Uh, I think I'm set. So, yeah. Just want to make sure the frame rate's okay on the game feed. Looks like it is. Yeah, I think I'm ready. So, let me swap things over on my end. There we are. And make sure things are set up so that I don't get interrupted by notifications. Okay, I think I'm set. Let us continue. There's our nice little PED suit version of the, uh, game select. All right. We are on Brio. Just need the game to actually load in and I hope nothing froze. There we go. Well, things have been frozen because Rundus is, has been sent here, but y you know what I mean. Hope the game itself has not been frozen. All right. So we have a couple new locations opened up because we uh, were able to activate the uh, things on the Federation ship that crash, la crash landed here. So let's uh, go after one of those locations right now. Let's enter the ship. All right, uh, let's see. Trying to figure out which location I should be going to first. I think I need to go to the fiery air dock first. Because there is a specific order I have to do these in, in order to get the least amount of backtracking possible. And we get nice little loading screens that are just the ship flying from place to place. Oh, and the background color is changing. Yeah, okay, this is the right one. This is indeed the right place. All right, we can also skip that. So, yeah. All right, and the reason it's the right location is because uh, there's Rundus' ship. Ferrigizian class gunship. The GF records identify pilot as Rundus. The engines are still warm, so he's been here recently. Well, he's hasn't been here for very long. So we're on the right track on finding him. So let's go on ahead and get that out of the way. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is not acid, this is actually uh, fuel gel. Which is kind of weird for a planet to have a lot of this stuff. But whatever. It kind of, it's kind of like lava since it is super heated. Also, we've got some uh, enemies around. Ah, you got me with your whipper. Took care of my enemies. Uh, won't be able to get up there for a while, but that's okay. We don't need to go up there yet anyway. Uh, get me some energy back. Uh, can I get my missiles back? No? All right, fine. All right, so I guess the only way we can go is not into the fuel gel, but instead this way. Ah. There we go. That gives us a nice little platform, and that's still going to be shooting out fuel gel like a rocket booster. That allows us to get up here. Is there anything else that I can get in here right now? Doesn't look like it. All right. Let's yank this off. There we are. And scan it, even though I already have it in my logbook. 
Also, we are near an item. I think it's uh, somewhere in here. Yeah. I gotta get some of these bugs to uh, cling on to me. When I get enough, means I'll be able to float up here. There we go. I think this is the right one. That gets me to the item. Or it's the way forward. I don't know. Nope, it's the item. I got myself another missile expansion. Hell yeah. Although, if you ask me in this game, I feel like the missiles kind of got uh, decreased importance. Because there's no more super missiles, and your charge beam seems to be doing the trick just fine. Yeah, it just feels like the missiles kind of have uh, decreased importance just because of all the changes they made with the uh, systems that are in place. Alright, can't go that way yet. We'll definitely be going that way later for a required thing. And flip the switch. And put the elevator down. Although we do have missile doors, so I guess they're important in that way. Nice. Oh good, that sound. That means there's Phazon nearby. Oh, this also means I gotta do this. Oh, great. Yep, this was gonna happen anyway. We're being told of the... We're being introduced to a mechanic that we were not told about when we first got our PED suit. We gotta rapidly tap the button to expel our phase on if we get into the state. We just received very abnormal readings from your life support systems. Are you okay? As a precaution, we are downloading the diagnostic data from your suit to further analyze the situation. We will contact you again if we have any more information. Yep. Also, this is a pool of Phazon, so when we're in it, we actually restore energy instead of lose health. So... Yeah, we're fully restored now. But, yeah, uh... If we're in hyper mode for too long, we become overloaded and, and we absolutely have to expel Phazon. If we don't want to become a Dark Samus. Alright. Oh, cutscene. Ah, oh, there's Rundus, sporting the PED suit that they gave him. Hmm. It's like he wants us to follow him for some reason. Alright. Oh, good. We get to fight things. Oh. Yeah, these guys can warp. They can also, uh, fire... They can also refire at us. Either that or it's, uh, fuel gel. I don't know. Like I said, I'm only gonna be using hyper mode if the situation requires it at the moment. Also, we are being... pelted. Alright, one down, two to go. Oh, let me fire at ya. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with that then. Sorry for the bit, right? Oh, 
Alright, there we go. I was about to say, one of these guys has to be dead pretty soon. There we go. Alright, looks like this thing is working again. There's that one. There's that one. Bomb slot's working again. There we go. Now we can actually start making progress on getting up there. Want to make sure these guys are dead before I move any further up. Uh, where's the last one? There you are. Can't dodge a missile, can you? You're, you were able to dodge my shots, but not a missile. All right. There we go. Just had to get the pump going. All right, we should be able to get it over to the other side. Oh, okay, yeah, I have to also have to do that. Forgot about that little part. There we go. Uh, anything I have to enable here? Yeah, I have to pull this thing out, too. There we go. And I still don't have the boost ball. I forget, is it even in Metroid Prime 3? I would think it would be. Right. This thing fired up. Oh, that is not getting fired up. I missed it. There we go. Alright, that should get that even further up. Oh, look. Uh, the slot here is going to take us to the other side. Without being up. Yeah. I had a thought. It didn't turn out too well. Alright. We should be able to make it further up now. Oh, good, more of these guys appeared. Oh, it's the uh, adult versions. I can just yank their tails off. Pull their bowels out through their tail. Weird. Um. Y you okay? Do you need me to get you unstuck? That. That's the first time that's happened. That... There we go. Got you unstuck. All right. Oh, come on. Really? Wow, you do not want to be killed. There we go. My god. First he gets stuck, and then he just shakes off my grapple lassos. That is one very resilient bug. Alright, still can't get up there yet, so I guess, uh, go this way? There we go, blew him up. Ah, dang it. All right, we are successfully up here and now we got another one of these bad boys. All right, should be able to make it up to that ledge now. Oh, good. Now we have puffers. 
Well, at least the thing's gonna stay put. At least these peppers don't leave a uh, cloud of gas around that lasts for more than 10 seconds. All right, is there anything else that I need to get before I head in? Oh yeah, the green ledges. Jump up to green ledges to perform a ledge grab. And that's really all there is to it. It's just as the name implies. It's a ledge that you grab and it has a special animation for some reason. So, do I hit this part of the rope? Uh, thick bark prevents you from using weapons to ignite it. Alright. Oh, I think I know. Oh, if you're not going to let me do that, then... Let me do that. I missed both times. <sighs> All right, let me take out this thing while I wait. There we go. Now I just gotta wait for this thing to come around. Also, I don't have to take damage from uh, the fuel gel. Also, it gives us a missile expansion, so yeah. Oh God. I took damage from it anyway. Okay. I don't think you get any uh, special shielding that prevents you. Wait, you actually do later on. Never mind. All right, got a save point, so I'm gonna take advantage of it, because I think we do have a major fight coming up. And we have saved. I'm also out of drink. All right, game's been saved. All right. Oh, 35 missiles. Cool. That's going to be somewhat useful later on. A lot more you. A lot more useful would be uh, more than 35 missiles. While the missiles do kind of have a uh, less uh, significant part of uh, the game, because no super missiles and no beam combos in general, uh, they're still they still have their moments. Oh God. Ow! Did not expect them to bounce at me to blow up, to be honest. Alright, I, I... Yeah, I'm at my location for the next major encounter. Oh, look at that. It's a... It's a space pirate ship. You know what's great? I want to blow up uh, one of these ships outside of a counter. There we go. Now you have no way of escaping. You're trapped on here with me. Oh yeah, slightly new uh, enemy type in the armored pirate trooper, basically. No, you don't. Actually, now that I think about it, there I think there's a medal for blowing up enough of those uh, pirate ships. Those ones right there. So yeah, if you want to do that successfully, you probably should use hyper mode. I just wanted to do it because I wanted to destroy some outside of uh, a required encounter. Oh, 
Oh good, Rundus. Thank you for showing up. About time you got here. The, what the hell have you been? You, not gonna say anything? Oh! Ah, you got corrupted by the phase on, and now you're an enemy. Yep. That's what happened to all of the hunters. And he's got some uh, protective armor that we need to uh, remove if we want to actually damage him. Oh, now that it's removed, we can actually start doing damage to him. He'll be able to freeze us, and he likes to uh, do the Silver Surfer thing. Ah, he also fires that at us. He won't do the Silver Surfer thing for a little bit, though. He will do that, though. Okay, he's doing the Silver Surfer thing. He likes to uh, do that. He's got some pretty kick-ass boss music, too. And this is gonna take a lot longer than usual because he's, uh, I'm not using Hyper Mode. <laughs> Stop it! That's cold! Where is he? Oh god, those things do a lot of damage. And they follow me apparently, good. Very good, very good. Oh god, I didn't see those. Oh, he fired more than three? Hmm. Oh good, now he's firing this stuff at me. At least they, uh... At least these things give me, uh... Missile and energy pickups after I... Destroyed them. Oh, there he is. Oh. Didn't know you could, uh, reflect, uh, My missiles. Ow. that stuff off of you. There we go. the energy badly. Oh, 
I need to get closer. There we go. Get down. Should have seen that coming. Oh yeah, if you get too close to him, he'll try to slash at you with an ice blade. Oh, he's doing that more often. I am trapped. Okay, there we go. Come on. Oh, he stopped being stunned for long enough. Didn't like that I had to be that close, okay. Alright, it's gonna be doing that. Don't give me missiles, I want energy. This guy hits like a truck. All right. I like that I can just fire a missile at him if he's about to fire those ice spurs at me and it gets him into his, uh... Oh god, he's in hyper mode. I need to kill him quickly. Because it does a... That does a lot more damage now. Oh no. Uh, I think it's a game over. Oh, that was close. I am really dancing with... I'm really playing with fire now. Oh, thank you. Yeah, he's low enough on health to where he will go into hyper mode now. Thank you! Oh, good. Oh, what a way to go. Yep, all the hunters have been possessed by Dark Samus's influence and now they're working with the space pirates. So we need to be very careful when we're going to the other two locations. But he did leave something for us. And it looks like it's some sort of missile upgrade. Armor suit upgrade acquired. Ice missiles online. All right, so our missiles are now ice missiles. My mustache is itchy. All right, let me get all this stuff. So 
so yeah, uh, we have ice missiles now. And chronologically, this is the first time we see them in the series. Because these also appear in Metroid Fusion because we needed a way to fire ice and because we weren't compatible with uh, the ice beam anymore. All right, thanks to uh, having the ice missiles, we can actually do this to the uh, fuel gel to get across. We can just basically make uh, platforms. Also, is there uh, anything of interest? No, okay. Hmm, interesting. Oh, okay, I just have to pump it to get it active. Come on. Come on. It's not letting me do it fast enough. Hold on a second. Oh, didn't like that I was that close. Okay. Alright, so if I ever come across one of those again, I'll just back up a little bit before I start. All right, no harm done. And thanks to our ice missiles, we can actually turn these into platforms too. Son of a bitch. Oh God, stop myself. And these bugs are basically here to give us uh, endless supply of missiles. Thank you for the extra energy. All right, let's go. Hmm. Hologram console offline. Restore power to operate. Oh God. Want to fire at me again? Ah, thought so. Accessible from current location, I'm able to reach it from the ground. Hmm. Ah, there it is. Armor integrity at maximum. So I doubt we'll be able to do anything to it. Clearly, this is the source of the energy signature we detected. This generator is supplying power to the Leviathan's protective shield. You will be unable to destroy the generator with your current weapons. You must find a weapon capable of penetrating the generator's heavy armor. Alright, so we gotta go find something else. Well, uh, with our ice missiles, we should be able to do a little more exploring. So, let's go on ahead and get to exploring. Ooh, that was close. All right. Also, I want to destroy some of these guys. Maybe they'll have missiles for me. Ah. One missile drop. Two missile drops. Thank you. All right. So we can't do anything at the moment, so let's go on ahead and leave this section for now. Oh, uh, these guys have, uh, taken up residence where, uh, the space pirates did. Alright, cool. Oh, and we have to destroy all the enemies to get the elevator to work again, so we're gonna have to keep that in mind when we come back here. Didn't even know the space pirate was there until he blew up. Come on, let me in, let me in. There we go. 
All right. Uh, let me try freezing. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, look, it's a uh, shortcut. I don't want to take that just yet because that takes us uh, closer to our ship. And there's a few things that I can actually get at the moment if I just go back this way, the long way. Namely, there's a save point, which I'm probably going to go on ahead and... Actually, I'll wait until I get to the ship. Not necessary to do it at the moment. All right. Ice Missile Door, dead. Hey, look at that, we have a uh, grapple points. All right. And where does this take us? Oh, it just takes us up here, cool. Oh, grapple. Let's yank that off, please. Thank you. Oh, and it's a shortcut back up here. Cool. All right, missile expansion acquired. Okay, it was enough. Oh, hi. Oh, dang it. I was seeing if I could make him kill himself with his own boomerang thingy. I was wrong. All right, let's get going. Might be able to find something back at the Federation ship. All right, let's go on ahead and uh, scan Rundus' ship now. GF records identify pilot as Rundus. Pilot status, deceased. And as a result, the uh, ship won't operate anymore. So, ship is stuck here forever. All right, save an inner ship. All right. Gonna head back to the first place. All right, back to the cliffside air dock. My, there's my phone. Alright, back here. And we have ice missiles in tow, so... How about we go on ahead and explore a little bit. You know what? I kind of take back what I said about the missiles before. They feel like they don't have a lot of use because they we don't have super missiles, but eh, I'd say they're still okay. Don't mind me, just going this way. Leave me alone, please. I just need to remember which way I need to go. Wow, you warped. Oh, hi. You're behind me. There's something on the other side of the Federation ship that we can explore now. Ow. 
Let me in, please. Thank you. All right, nothing else to activate on here, so let's just go out the other end. Let me through. Dang it. We. Oh, cool. You may be able to use this facility to upgrade your ship. Oh, good. We are sending the coordinates to you now. And let me guess, I'm going to it right this moment. Yep. There it is. Oh, and uh Oh, it's a map of the other of the last location. Okay. But yeah, we're well on our way to getting to the uh, upgrade for our ship. Alright, cool. Uh, you seem pretty powerful. Also, there's an item in here, which uh, we need to use that to get up to. So, Screw Attack is definitely in the game. Oh. Hello. Giant statue, and I hear an enemy. Ah, it's you. It's only one of you. You're dead. There's one more? Yep, there he is. I see him. Yep, you're not warping. All right, good, we can access this. So we need to get him loose. There we are. There are four locations that we have to uh, hit, it looks like. All right. Let's uh, not do that for some strange reason. I do go in here. All right, second one taken care of. So his legs are mobile, but his arms are still uh, being tied back. Let's uh, see what we can do about that. All right, cool. All right. Third point taken care of. All that's left to do is uh, free his left arm. Ah. All right, let's burn it off. There we go. Should be able to... Should be able to move him now. Let's uh, try. And all it needs to power up is the bomb. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, just gently puts me in the wall. Okay, cool. And now you're going to rest forever. Yeah, let me check on this guy. Uh, you are permanently offline. Yep. I'm convinced that the war golems that these guys made are just for labor uses. And not, you know, for fighting, even though they're called war golems. Samus, we have uncovered more information regarding your condition. Oh, do tell. It appears that once activated, 
Ah, I have special phase on. We did not foresee this problem when we gave you the PED, and unknowingly, we put you in great danger. Yeah, good going, guys. We I really appreciate that. Please be aware that it will not be possible to counter Dark Samus without the PED. I don't know, I seem to be doing well with it without it so far. You must be careful in using it. Oh, I have been. In the meantime, we will continue to investigate this unique phase on. Oh, please do. I want to know more about the thing that can kill me. Alright. There's an item down here. Let me see if I can grab it. Uh, can I just use a bomb? It's Taloric Alloy, so... I could probably just use a bomb. Yep. Hey, an energy tank! Could have used an extra one when I was fighting Rundus. Whatever. I've taken care of him. I've gotten my energy tank. I'm a little happier. Alright. Swing across. I think those are like hives of some kind, so I think it's a good idea that I'm uh, taking these things out. Alright, you're dead. Alright, I need to find the thing that will... Oh, perfect! There we go. It's a fuse of some kind. Oh, the other fuse is right here. Thought I messed up and uh, made it impossible to continue. Nope, I just need to get both. Alright, cool. A new grapple point. Ha ha, and I guess I need to destroy you. There we go. Is there a thing I need to do? Oh, I didn't fall all the way down. There's gotta be one more thing I need to jump on. Uh, explosive blast could probably destroy it. Okay. There we go. Ah. Perfect. Alright. Alright, this looks like the proper bay. Nope, I didn't want you. Must be free of obstructions to land gunships, so I guess I have to get this thing, uh, disabled. Okay. Or just have to get it put down into standby mode instead of uh, ready to arm a ship with explosives mode. Alright, so let me go on ahead and look around, see if there's anything. Ah. Oh, good. Hooray, security lockdown. Oh. It's not, uh, space pirates, it's native creatures. Is that all of them? No. Nope, we got more of them. Come on. Oh, dang it. You didn't have enough. You didn't have a. Uh, your health wasn't low enough. Come 
Ow. Poop. All right. Ugh. I want to get one of these guys with their own weapon. There we go! Ha ha ha! So satisfying and definitely worth it. Come on, do it. Do it. Gotcha! Ow! I want to do it a third time. Nah, you didn't have enough. You didn't have a uh, low enough health. There we go. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. God, I like doing that. All right. Looks like uh, I can actually get the ship down here now. Oh, wait, I uh, need to put that back down. Or do I? All right, uh, let's go on ahead and call the ship once these are down. Oh, I gotta open up the, all right. Forgot about that little thing. Oh, I can't cheat it by doing that. Alright, let's call the elevator then. I gotta get up there. Wow! And... Energy cell? There we go. I guess it doesn't like that I'm that close, so yeah. Oh, we got an energy cell. What we're gonna do with it, I don't know yet. Or do I? All right. I have to be over there, okay. I guess this was just to get an energy cell. I'll go on ahead and say right now, they're gonna be for the, uh, set. For the uh, section that's needed to access the final area. We're going to be going to, to a place that needs those energy cells and it'll give us the ability to access the final level of the game. Yep, knew it. Those are nests for those things. I think there's nine energy cells in all, and we don't necessarily need all of them to actually access the story stuff. But all nine will be needed to access all of the items that are on se in said area. There we go. All right. Bay doors are open, so how about we go on ahead and finally call the uh, ship over? Right, let's put down the stuff. Please turn the proper color. Yay, we can call the ship. How about we go on ahead and uh, give our ship some missiles? 
Which, to be fair, with the way the ship looks, it, pr it you would think that it would have had missiles on there to begin with. Alright, gunship upgrade complete. New weapon system added. Ship missiles are online. Lock on to command icons with Z to initiate a bombing run. And these are the least useful thing in the game, even though they're required at the moment. We're not going to be using these very much. And yet there's going to be a lot of uh, a missile, uh, ship missile expansions that we can find. These are essentially the power bombs of the game. Wait, let me uh, put things down. Oh, I don't need to. I've already upgraded the ship. Okay. Well, with this thing, we can actually uh, take care of the power generator. So how about we go on ahead and uh, see what we can do about that. But first, I'm going to take a break. So when we get back, we're going to go on ahead and see what we can do about taking out the generator powering the shield to the seed. So I'll be right back. I'm going to have some music going. Going to let that finish steeping. And in the meantime, I think I'm just about ready to get things started again. So, yeah. Let's uh, head to another location. Alright, so I could head back to the fiery air dock. And see how our missiles are going to do against the shield generator. But... I'm going to go there here first because there's something else that needs to be taken care of before we can actually fire at the shield generator because fate is cruel like that. There's turrets protecting the generators, so we kind of need to destroy the turrets before we can actually take out the generator. So we're going here. Alright, there's nothing special about this location here, so let's go this way. Oh, look at that! Uh, enemy, these enemies can go into hyper mode. And yeah, they will hit like a truck, so I need to be a little careful. Oh, good, it wore off. Alright, you're dead. Also, you can't go into hyper mode anymore. I think you just threw a grenade at me. Oh, good. There we go. Very hard to kill when in hyper mode. And, uh, yeah. That's something I'm gonna have to deal with. Oh, look, another energy tank. Thank you. I needed that, actually. Definitely needed that. Alright. There's also something up here that I can access. I believe it's to a missile expansion. Not 100% on that one. Uh, no. Oh. Jamming beacon is interrupting remote control signals. Cannot use the command visor while it's active. Oh, good. So, uh, yeah, this is what's in the next room.
And my cord is tangled in my headphone cord. Alright. Alright, so it was uh, required that I go up there. Because it removes the force field to access the next room. Goody. Ugh, I'm still going to try not to use hyper mode in any way, shape, or form. Alright, that ship is just going to go off on its merry little way. How do I destroy this thing? I guess by... Or just, you know, doing that. Uh... Oh, it disables it temporarily, and then I can bring in my ship for a bombing run. Or in this case, a missile run. Destroys everything! Oh, good. Yep, the Berserker Lords are now regular enemies. Oh, and he just throws his friends. Good. Oh, God. Yep. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. Enemies. Enemies hurt. <laughs> Actually, this isn't a uh, Berserker Lord. It's a regular old knight. Oh, God. Okay, now I know what those do. They induce hyper mode. Good. They force me to go into hyper mode. And it's, oh, and it's in my overloaded state, too, so I can't exit out of it. I have to, I have to shoot through it. Oh, my God. Well, there's an item up there, but I need the boost ball from the looks of this, because that's a half pipe. All right, so just keep going. And there's the uh, symbol that gives me uh, ship uh, missile refills. All right. Oh, look, it's an arena. And I'm sealed off. There we go. The music uh, changed. Oh. Oh, goody. The space pirates have mounts. Korak. Oh, good. You're a. Uh, you're a mini boss. Sensitive, sometimes vulnerable from the ground. Let me get rid of the rider. There we go. Rider has been beaten. There we go.
Nope. Alright, I have a feeling that glowing spot on its back is, uh, what's needed to stun him. No? Maybe I have to make him tired first? I'll do this. That seems fun. Oh god, I am cornered. There we go. There we go. All right, I got it. Now I know how to beat you. This would take a lot of, sh this would take a shorter amount of time if I used hyper mode, but yeah. I am not going to. One more volley should do the trick. There we go. God, that took way... That took so much longer than necessary, in my opinion. All because I forgot how to take that thing out. All right. So nothing behind there. That's good to know. Open up, please. I need to get through. There we go. But 
hell? Two more? There we go. Destroyed. Another? I think I made it stuck into the wall. Alright, let me go in here. Ice missile? Oh, save point. Perfect. Oop. Oh, at least I got uh, some energy back. Alright, I think my tea's ready. Mm, that's good. I like it. Couldn't find the sugar, so I had to use sweetener, but... My opinion, plain sugar tastes a lot better for this type of thing. Alright, anyway. Uh, tea's good. I have energy back. Let's continue. Load faster, please. Ah, uh, okay. Here we are. Oh, and there's a missile expansion with it. Cool. Let's uh, get the missile expansion as well. All right. So even if you've gotten the all of the entries before, just do this one again. There's a missile behind. There's a missile expansion behind it. Yeah. Air anti air cannon Tia Matt online. All weapon systems are green. Active sensors online and scanning. So yeah, I need to take out these two turrets first. You know, I probably could have taken out that first generator with ease, but I didn't want to take any chances. Yeah. Also, I kinda have to anyway. Yep, yep, we're getting attacked. Can't do it, Chief. Samus, there are two anti-aircraft turrets protecting the general. Your ship will not be able to get a clear shot while those guns are active. So yeah, we gotta take out the guns. Unable to open from the side. The hell was that? Oh, that was the shield. Turning on and off. Okay. So we can't get a clear shot. And we can't really go any further on this side, so I guess do that. Yep, space pirates. Oh, good. And both of them can go into hyper mode and kill me easily. Yep, you're in hyper mode now and you're not. You're dead. Oh, you're going at hyper mode. Oh god, you went up into the air there. Now you're dead. Looks like uh, when I'm not using hyper mode, I, it's impossible for me to kill them when they're in hyper mode. All right, that's good to know. All right, so apparently my mic decided to cut out here.
and I never caught it for the rest of the stream. I think my leg might have hit the uh, mute mic button on the control pad that's on my headphone cord. I don't know, but no more commentary for the rest of the stream. And it's probably like this on the Twitch version of the VOD too, so... Yeah. Sorry about that. I'll try to be a little more uh, observant for the next stream. Okay, bye.
The destruction of the generators has disabled the Leviathan shield. The seed is now exposed. You must fly there and find a way to destroy it.
Rio is now saved from further phase on corruption. Thank you, Samus. Your next objective will be Elysia. Though Gore is stationed there, the Leviathan's phase on contamination is still spreading. The impact point is hidden deep within the storm clouds of this planet. You will not be able to reach its location. Instead, you may land near an automated research facility floating high above the surface, where GF Aurora Unit 217 is stationed. Unit 217 has been infected by the corruption virus, and is currently offline. I have uploaded a program to your suit that will purge any traces of corruption in the AU, and restore its functionality. Once Unit 217 has been restored, it will help us find a way to destroy the Leviathan. We are concerned about Gore ever since he lost contact with us. We hope he is safe. Good luck, Samus.